Hey folks, Mr. Vansko again. Um, this time I'm going to take you through part two um, of growing fruit in the Great Lakes. So uh, you really, I, I, and again, I think on my original version, I left off Michigan. So sorry if you were uh, studied like Michigan the day before and you're wondering where that was at. Um, I'm going to continue using Superior as my example. Um, and it doesn't matter if the day before you studied Summer Superior or January Superior. Um, it says that you can use either data sheet here, average daily temps or data sheet hourly temps. For this example, I'm going to use the hourly temps. We can talk more about that in person. Um, again, you can use either one and spoiler alert, you will get different results depending on which one you use. Um, but I'm going to use hourly temps. So I've already got that spreadsheet open here in another tab. And because I am looking up Lake Superior information. Um, I already have the tab open here for Sault Ste. Marie, which is on Lake Superior. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through, and this one I like um, for students too, because um, it actually tells you frost, no frost. So um, we just scroll down here until we see the last frost day in the spring. No frost, no frost. Oh, and see, there's another frost. So now we have to start over again. No frost, no frost, but then there's frost. Lots of days in April with no frost. The second half of April, I should say. Again, notice that these are dates and times every hour. Uh, then we get some more frost. We gotta keep keep going. May. So I'm gonna speed ahead here. Lots of no frost days. Ah, there's one. So um we can, and I'm going to, for the sake of time, I'm going to cut this short and tell you this is the day. So May 29, and I'm going to go back to my dock here. The last frost date for Sault Ste. Marie was, I'm sorry, not May 29, May 28. So May 28 was the last frost day. And then we're going to go back to our tab here, and then now we're into september so we don't need to look through the summer months so um now we're going to go through september and find the first frost of the fall and again for the sake of time in this video um i'm going to tell you that as you scroll through here um you're going to find the first frost date Let's skip ahead to it a little bit just saw it Right there, October um, 17th. All right, so that's how you find the last frost day and the first frost day. I'll make a, another short video, try to keep these videos short and to the point, show you how to find those growing season days.